Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, let's try to understand briefly about parametric equation of a circle. Now, the parametric equation of circle comes into picture whenever we want to identify the coordinates of any point on the circle with respect to a single variable, the inclination of the line segment joining the center to the point with the positive direction of the x-axis. So if we know only one variable theta, then how to find out any point on the circle? That is how, that is nothing but the parametric equation of a circle. Now let's have a look at this figure, what we are having here. We have a circle with center h, k and there is a point on the circle x, y with coordinates x, y. Now how I can represent x, y with the value with the variable theta that is what we are going to see as part of parametric equation of a circle. Now if you consider this triangle OPX, let us look at the triangle. If you look at the triangle OPX, we have the circle center at h comma k and the coordinates of the point are x comma y. Now we have to represent x comma y with in terms of the var the variable that is nothing but the parameter theta here. So in single variable we want to represent that. Now if you consider the triangle OPX, you can see that that is a right angle triangle and uh, you know that cos theta equal to cos theta equal to nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse that is x minus h by r. Similarly, sin theta equal to we are talking about where theta is less than or equal to 2 pi between 0 to 2 pi so that you can have one turn. Similarly, sin theta is if you look from here, sin theta equal to Px by OP. Px is opposite side. That is nothing but y minus k divided by r. Or you can also write it as x minus h by r is nothing but Ox by OP, which is equal to x minus h by r. Similarly, this is Px by OP. We know Px is y minus k. OP is r. Now, if you take this x minus h equal to r cos theta, we have x minus h equal to r cos theta. Similarly, we have y minus k equal to r sin theta. So, if you simplify them little bit, we have x to h plus r cos theta, y equal to k plus r sin theta. These two equations are known as parametric equation of a circle. So, we will try to do some simple examples based on that. But let me just summarize before we move to the examples. Suppose we want to represent the equation of the circle with respect to a parameter theta, where theta is the inclination of the line of the radius from the center to the point for which we want to find out the coordinates that is x comma y line joining h comma k to x comma y. Then we can we see that if we join the point P drop a perpendicular and try to join the radius OP we form a right triangle that is OXP. We form a right triangle OXP. Then if the coordinates are x coordinates are h comma x then you know o x equal to x minus h and also p x equal to y minus k. Now from the triangle o p x cos theta equal to x minus h by r and sin theta equal to y minus k by r that is nothing but x equal to h plus r cos theta y equal to k plus r sin theta. This is nothing but the parametric equation of the circle. Now let us try to do some simple examples how to solve problems with respect to this. Let us look at this equation of the circle. x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square equal to 8 square. This is the equation of the circle in standard form. Now we want to convert that into parametric form. 
For that, we know this is in the form of x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square. That tells me that h equal to 3, k equal to 4 and r equal to 8. Now what is the equation, parametric equation x equal to h plus r cos theta that is 3 plus 8 into cos theta. Similarly, y equal to k plus r sin theta that is 4 plus 8 sin theta. So these two are parametric equations how you can convert from standard form into parametric equation form. Now you want to find out any point on this particular circle with center 3, 4 and radius equal to 8. Just give the theta value. Suppose you want at an angle 45 degrees just put cos theta equal to 45. You can easily identify the coordinates of the point that is 3 plus 8 into cos 45. 3 plus 4 root 2 similarly 4 plus 4 root 2 you can find out the value of them that is where you have the point on the circle at an angle of 45 degrees so the you can identify the coordinates with the help of the ink angle or nothing but the parameter here let's do one more problem where the equation of the circle is in general form and how to find out the parametric equation for that Let's look at this equation. x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 12. This is in the form of general form. So what is the general form equation? x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Now from this we know that 2g equal to minus 4, 2f equal to minus 6 and c is equal to minus 12. What we want is x equal to h plus r cos theta but h equal to here minus g because we are in general form and this is equal to minus f. So let us find out what is the center coordinates. The center is minus g minus f. 2g is minus 4 that means g equal to minus 2. So minus g equal to 2 comma similarly the coordinate of minus here value of minus f is 3 so we have center 2 comma 3 radius equal to square root of g square plus f square minus c that's equal to square root of 2 square plus 3 square minus minus 12 that's equal to 4 plus 9 13, 13 plus 12 square root of 25 that is equal to 5. Now once we got 5, once we got r equal to 5 we can go back and write the equation, parametric equation as x equal to center h2 plus r cos theta, r cos theta, r is equal to 5 so I can say 2 plus 5 cos theta. Similarly, y equal to k, k equal to 3. So, 3 plus r sin theta that is nothing but 2 plus 5 cos theta, 3 plus 5 sin theta. So, you can see that also it will help you to write down x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equal to 5 square. That is how you can convert this from general form to parametric form, also parametric form to standard form. You can do that easily now because you know x minus 2 is 5 cos theta, y minus 3 is 5 sin theta. You square and add them. You will have x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equal to 5 square because the center is at 2 comma 3 and the radius equal to 5. So this is the parametric equation of the circle converted from transformed from general form into parametric equation. In the next session we will look into how to find out the equation of the circle which is passing through three points or which is satisfying a particular condition. So I will catch you in the next session. Till then, thanks for your time. Bye for now.